Check this out. Damn. Cypress stumps everywhere. swamp Let me get around through here and get to the other side of the swamp there's some hogs in here too trying to avoid the hogs they've been digging right there I haven't seen any hogs, but they're in here. They're definitely in here. I think I scared them out just as I showed up. I think I've seen where they were just there. Like, it almost looks like they were there right before I got there. That's right here. And that shit's real fresh. The hog was right here not long ago super fresh hog signs I'm wait until i see one I'll, I'll try to video if i see one but i gotta be real careful you don't want one of them getting on you There's nothing in that swamp down there to paint, so I'm trying to find it on the other side. I need to walk way around. Should be right up here. Pretty close. This weekend I'm going to go to my land in southern Illinois and I'm going to do some videos up there and show you guys what I got up there. I want to build a like an 1800 style cabin up there on that land. It's a pretty neat piece of land in southern Illinois. Shawnee National Forest area. I'm going to do some do some videos about that. It's pretty, pretty cool. So but anyways I need to find this line and I gotta work through a big swamp today, so if I see anything cool, I'll, I'll uh, video it. I'll react to you in a minute. <laughs> And this stuff's deep. There's a way down. You can't. Straight across is about right there. Let's see how steep that is. 
some climbing up some stuff to that fly down. No, but look at this. That's a vine, man. That sucker is huge. The biggest one I've ever seen. There's my snake bait against it. That's the base of that vine. It's like a grapevine. It's huge. Goes over there. Goes up in the ground over there and over there. Man, this is a monster. Goes up into the top of that tree and climbs all over the place. But anyways, man, this is a good climb. Following a really, really old line. You can't hardly see it. So I'm looking for the next mark here. We're walking up through here. It's hard. You're looking at the, up looking for the next tree and you're not watching where you're stepping and you'll step right on a damn rattlesnake. But I think I'm still right on the line. I'm not seeing a damn thing. Usually one of these big trees will have a mark on it. It may be right up by that clearing, but I thought it'd be over in here a little bit. It may have turned. Maybe it turned south up there. Maybe I missed the turn. What do you think? I'm starting to think I missed the turn now. South either. Well, I guess I'll get back with you guys when I find it. I'll show you what, what it was. There's the last tree down there. There's a the big vine, giant vine. I bet that'd be some pretty wood if you cut it up. Oh yeah, I missed the corner. I see it now. Dang. It was right by the last tree. Dang, I walked right on past it. Down here. This is what happens whenever the paint's really old. I just miss it. But this should have been a witness tree. If that was marked as a witness tree, I would have never missed this corner. There it is, right there. Well, better get busy and paint it. Painted that one like that. I need to just put an X on that tree. I'm going to put an X on that tree and uh, paint that post and paint those three bands. Maybe paint three bands on that little one too. I really mark this corner up because yeah, it's really steep. It's like straight across is right there and I went all the way down through and climbed all the way up here. Missed the corner, walked all the way to the top of the hill, looking around. Anyways, yeah, slow going today. This steep ass shit. But I'm finding it. Get it done next day or two. Peace out. All right. Check this out. I'm wading through this shit today. That's what I'm talking about. This is some real bounty paint here. This came from that direction. I don't know if you can see it. You can see the paint back there. I don't know. Yeah, there's the paint coming up through there, and it's going that direction. There's the snake boots. I've been all the way up over them in a couple places, getting up close to my waist. Hopefully it doesn't get deeper. I hope it gets shallower from here on. Maybe a point where we can't go anymore if it gets too deep. 
Anyways. There's the next mark. Right there. Watch for cotton mouths in places like this. They nest up in these places. Usually you'll see them swimming though. And times they'll be in a big ass stump. But it's got to be marked as much as possible, so we're going to continue on. Can't set anything down. It's, water's too deep. And there's the tree. It's going to go down that direction. See the next one up there? Came from that way. This is the last tree I painted, and there's another one back there a little ways. But anyways, yep, we're going to continue on. If I see anything cool, I'll get back with you. I'm walking back. It got too deep in there. It got in there quite a ways. I'm going to have to go around and come back from the other way. Do the same thing until it gets too deep. It's pretty deep in here. I don't like riding on this shit. You can't feel what's under your feet. Stepping on logs and shit in the water. Falling in holes like that right there. These stump holes in the ground, under the water, you can't see. And uh, we painted right down through there, but comes from that way. I'm gonna walk around it, see if I can get any pretty close from the other side. Cypress stumps everywhere in the grass. Trip on those things, fall in this shit. Not cool. Not cool at all. There's a really old paint right there. I'm gonna paint this tree. be able to see this line next time that's for sure got off the line here i'm need to go take that one i painted down there off i think it'll be pretty close after that take them off just gotta scrape it off if you can if, if there was some dirt to the water I'd get some dirt and rub it in there and then you really take really rubs it off of there 
You won't be able to see it. Especially when it's in the wrong place. You don't want to leave them off the line. You really want to be supposed to be within arm's reach of the line. Most of the time it's pretty close. Sometimes you get in these swamps, it kind of jumps around. Like this one, I don't think is right either. I think it's over that way. It's over that way a little more. Take this one off too. I thought I saw it on that dead tree, but I guess I didn't. All right, we found Arrowhead. Check this out. Check it out. Right there. Big old spear. Right there. Oh, wow, it's sweet. Dude, it's broke, though. Boy, if that wasn't broke, that'd have been a nice one. Damn it, I'm jealous. Look at that. Dude. Yep, I'm jealous. That was worth hunting for. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Nice find. That's what we're looking for. Get it found, guys. Bunch of bottles. Pretty cool little bottle right there. Yeah, it's broke. Not that old either. I did find this one. Pretty cool. It's got like little bow ties on it. And there's the find of the day. I don't know what it was. Doesn't say anything on it. Some kind of makeup or cream or something. Pretty cool. Can take it. Looks like there might have been an old house here. I see a some brick right up in there. It's a really old house site. Must be right in here. Let me look around here a little bit. See if I find anything cool. And then I saw I found a couple not very old hot bottles. See you know, stuff like this. This is magnesium. Like it's really not that old. But right next to it is this cool little bottle. from the 50s or 60s. I'll keep it though. I'll keep it's pretty cool. Look like a vanilla bottle or something. Pretty old one for that style of bottle. Um, I think I'm gonna go up around this way see if I see anything else because I see some brick or something right there it's like an old chimney or something that up in that brush right there I'll get back with you if I find anything else cool mm -hmm. all right there's my next tree right there going right up this tree line up through there but uh yeah there's, there's some hogs in here coming from that way See that right there? And through the hog rubbed up against that all that mud on that tree. Look at the hog, he's rubbing that. Look at that there's another one. He's scrubbing that tree with his sides and his teeth and shit. I gotta watch for hogs in here. I hate to jump up a big, huge hog. It's a little sketchy. It's 
It's a pretty good size hog. He's uh, up on that tree quite a bit. Anyways, if I see him, I'll try to get a video of him or might have to shoot him or climb a tree real fast or something. It's hard to get away from them, but they're really blind. They can't see you. You just got to stand real still and hope they don't see you. But yeah, that's, that's pretty sketchy right there. Catch you back. All right, I just painted that tree. Paint down this line. It comes right down through here along the edge of these small pines. But anyways, I yeah. am. This is pretty cool. Look at all these bones. There's a rib bone. There's a whole skeleton here. A couple of them. Time for Halloween at the phone yard. <laughs> All right, well, I'm get back to it. I got a lot to do today. Here's the next tree. See how old it is. That's what I'm following. Got the, uh, there's the jawbone right there. Those teeth. <laughs> I like to take one of these and and uh, put it all back together like they do in those museums. That old cow, whole cow, just standing there, that'd be awesome. <laughs> just put all the bones back together like they're supposed to go. It'd be pretty tough. It'd be hard to do. But if you found them like this, you could probably figure out where they go. Pretty easy. A lot of times the coyotes get a hold of these though and drag them all over the place, so they're probably not all right here. Some of them probably got drug off. But there's a pine bone right there. But all right, I gotta get back to work. See ya. I'm down in here, pretty thick stuff. There's my paint, clothes, brush, backpack. Paint, brush axe. There's the last tree I painted coming down through here. There's a, a fence post right in there. You see that fence post? That's the line. It's really thick down in here. I gotta fight through this crap. Little bottom down here by Florida. It's I'm only about 650 miles from Florida, probably, from the Panhandle. It is thick on some of these bottoms. Chop your way through this crap. Takes a little bit when you get in slow going and this kind of stuff. Got to climb in shit like that. Paint stuff. And watch for snakes. But anyways, I'll get back at you in a bit. I'm trying to get this mile and a quarter done I'm gonna go go pick up my other guys they're painting down the side of a creek it's probably rough over there too but uh, all right catch you back